SABC News reporter Luandi Lembulali is covering the story for us and we take you there now live. Luandi Le, great to have you on the program. Talk to us about what we can expect coming from there today. Well, a good day to you and good day to the viewers at home. Uh, the launch has started. As you can see behind me, there is a tent. You now a number of people are in attendance. As you mentioned, you know, uh, child, I mean, teenage pregnancy is on the spotlight today. And also coming from Lusikisigi, you will know uh, Lusikisigi for its cases of gender-based violence and femicide. You know, I think it is number three countrywide. But to tell us what we can expect from the launch itself, I do have a guest here who will just elaborate more on some of the issues ma'am can you tell us more what we can expect from the launch and also why did you decide to 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 hold this launch here in lisigisigi yes thank you so much good afternoon uh, to your viewers and your listeners we are here to launch officially launch the child protection week which is the education and awareness raising program that we are offering as the national department of social development but we are now in our Tambo district, uh, in Lusikisiki, as you have mentioned, in Muzahil local municipality, we have discovered through the statistics that we've received from Stats SA in terms of the high levels of teenager, teenagers who became pregnant and actually gave birth to children. The numbers are worrying because 46 girls have been identified from so, uh, communities around Lusikisiki and Flagstaff. So we are here to raise awareness to say as community members, as they Stakeholders and also as parents and caregivers, we need to hold hands and address the schedule of, of teenage pregnancy because we cannot let it, you know, go uh, in terms of escalating in numbers. We also have to strengthen our services, but we also have to look at what are the issues that makes this uh, number so high, where girls are, are becoming pregnant. Is it a social ill? Is it a community that doesn't care for children or protect children? Or is it perpetrators that are older men that are taking advantage? of, you know, things like poverty, children who cannot really fend for themselves or who are meant to get married as young as 10 years or 14 years to older men. So that is also really worrying. But we, we are saying as different stakeholders from health, from subs, from justice, we need to really strengthen how we respond to these cases. We can no, no longer, you know, ignore them and say it's something that it, it, it's just to be ignored but we need, really need to you know our response has to be rapid and it has to be intensive and it has to respond to the needs of children because we are saying we want to care and protect children so we are raising awareness here today to say together with the uh, you know leadership from communities like your traditional leaders your religious leaders let's talk about this issue let's address it in in churches let's address it in in you know community structures like your traditional courts where we, we we, we, we can report such issues because the Children's Act is very clear to say we really need to report issues of child abuse, neglect and exploitation and this is why we are here today to say we really need to take action and gender-based violence is really rife which is also affecting children. So what are we doing as communities? We really need to strengthen our awareness raising education but also the enforcement of law that needs to take action and take place. I see a number of learners are in attendance here today. Are you going to maybe take this message into uh, schools around uh, the Artam region or maybe Lusikisiki? Okay. Child Protection Week is just to heighten, you know, the, the awareness raising. But uh, we have declared the month of May up to the end of June as the Child Protection Month. But we also have programs that run 365 days. So as a build-up activity towards this official launch, we had dialogues with children ages from 10 to 17 so that we can talk about why are they engaging in sex as early as 10 years old and even becoming pregnant at an early age. So we had dialogues with them. So they are going to be launching their report out of those dialogues. You know, things that they are highlighting as their challenges. Also, what is it that they want government to assess them with but also as children what are they going to take and champion you know to fight against the schedule of, of teenagers becoming pregnant and also protecting themselves from perpetrators who at most times are older men so this is what they are going to launch and bring forth to the authorities. So we want children to, to take charge of their own uh, social ills or challenges in, the, in their communities and also you know action 
We, we want people to be accountable. From this report, we are going to have a program that will be strengthened, that will run 365 days, not just today and then we drop the ball. But continuously, we have to improve how we respond to such uh, incidences of child abuse. Thank you so much. Well, uh, you heard uh, that uh, ch- ch- teenage, teenage pregnancy from girls between 10 and 14 is really concerning, especially in the area of OR Tambo. I will be talking to some of the local authorities about some of the issues and I will be also talking to learners they are in attendance here inside the tent. It is back to you Mko in studio. Luandile, it's, it's very concerning indeed uh, as the numbers keep going up as far as teenage pregnancy is concerned. Um, is there some sort of measures that are being put in place that what is started in that tent behind you today actually filters down to the ground where it matters the most as far as you know the teens are concerned? As my guest, you know, uh, said that you know they are working with uh, uh, different uh, uh, government departments, you know, to take the message to schools, to take the message to traditional leaders, you know. And uh, she said that you know this is a message that they have been driving throughout the year. It is not something that will be done just for this week. So it is something that uh, they are uh, they are doing throughout the year. But it, uh, they, it, she does uh, say that. It is important to also call in traditional leaders, community leaders, also going to schools, you know, to preach and to talk to learners, to say what are the issues, you know, as we also talk, as I also spoke about the issue of gender-based violence. It is also, you know, something that the children in this area are facing. So it is something that, you know, you see, they, they need to, uh, as the department, as many, uh, as, as different uh, government departments need to know what are the issues, how does government come in and assist these different communities, also saying that even traditional leaders, they need to come in and play their role in assisting uh, these children, these teenagers in these uh, different rural areas here in the Oartambo region. Yes, Luandile, I know your guest also spoke about the importance how the campaign of protecting children should be 365 days a year. Let's talk about the attendance there. Are there some community members that are in attendance and what's the sense that you're getting from them as far as uh, this uh, campaign kickstarts today? Well, I can say that there are a number of community members that are in attendance, you know, and and uh, from what I hear, they, they they are welcoming, they are learning from this. They they are learning what is child protection. They are learning why, what are their roles in different communities. Also, I will be speaking to uh, the deputy minister. She is in attendance. The mayors of this area, uh, the mayor of this area in Rosa Hill, she is in attendance as well. So I will be talking to them just to hear their side, just to hear what they need in their areas in their in their areas what what help do they need especially coming from government as i said earlier on there are learners that are in attendance but it's it's just a few learners you know so this message really does need to be taken to different schools that's Luandile Mbulali joining us there at the Eastern Cape Child Protection Week launch that is currently happening now. Thank you very much for that report indeed.